Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And yes, it is bad weather and yes, I am here north of Scotland. And yes, this is the Brora Distillery next to me. The Brora Distillery has been closed since 1984 and it is just about to be reopened. So that's why I'm here and it's kind of, yeah, it's not a full distillery video because I can't get in. It's kind of a news update. So uh, let's get a bit of the history of Brora. As you can see down at the bottom, it is established 1819. So yeah, it was built in 1819, but it was not built as Brora in 1819. It was built as Kleinlich. And then in 1967, it was then uh, the Kleinlich distillery built another distillery uh, on the side where Kleinlich is now, and they called it Kleinlich B, and this one they called Kleinlich A. Um, a year after, they did a rebranding, came out new, and they called this distillery then Brora. After that, it went downhill 1984, and it was uh, decommissioned. It was not mothballed, it was decommissioned, so nothing was done in there. So all the equipment was left to, yeah, time. So how is the distillery now? They rebuilt the distillery and they've just started with the commission. They've just been commissioned in about May till March till May was the commissioning. So let's go through the yeah, distillery process. They get the water from the, um, from the same burn as the uh, Kleinlich distillery. It's the Klein Milton burn. Uh, they get the malt from down south and yeah the first step is the mash tun yeah they looked at the mash tun it was an old cast iron mash tun copper lid and yeah it was it was not good it was not in a good shape they tried to fill it yeah it was leaking but then they they realized actually the tun is pretty good so they patched up the tun they had to replace the rest all the the working the moving parts the lid and all the pumps and all that kind of stuff obviously had to replace that um, but the ton itself is back from the old Kleinlich or Brora distillery and then we move, they moved on to to the wash bags the wash bags were in really really bad shape yeah wooden wash bags they have not been watered so they were completely dry the wood uh, really compressed and had cracks everywhere and yeah it was in so bad shape they had to get the plans out and just get new wash bags. Wash bags are not really meant to stand that test of time so long and especially without watering. So yes, they had to build all new wash bags and obviously all the pumping and motors and all that kind of stuff. Next up is the uh, the stills. You, you'd think, yeah, the stills, copper, they're really expensive. They were probably sold off. No, they were still in there. So they got the old uh, pot stills, they got the maintenance in there, they had a real, uh, yeah, a whole refurbishment, big maintenance, but they kept the old stills. So the, they patched it up, and they got all the, the pumping equipment and all that kind of stuff around there new. So, and yeah, then in March uh, 21, they ran it with water, they stilled it, and they found, yeah, everything is airtight and everything is running. So until uh, after May, they were now in the, the adjustment phase because they, they don't want to build anything new. They just want to get the old Brora going again. So they want to be exactly as the old Brora. So what they have is they have the, the old chemical, anal chemical analysis and they actually do have the old new make in their archives back then. So they can actually compare the old new make to the new new make can compare all the numbers of all the yeah, analysis they have of the stills right now and they are just at adjusting it so they can match the old style and just pick up where they left off in 80, um, 1984. So yeah, so they are distilling, running about two mashes a week or two wash bags a week. Um, that's really not much. Um, they're not filling it into the cast because yeah, it's not there yet but they want to be ready like about next year. It depends on how fast they can go and how, how, how lucky they are to just hit that spot at, that they want to, want to apply. After, but if you've just done the distilling, you will not come out with a whiskey. You have to mature it. So 
Um, maturation will take at least three years. When they will come out with the, with the new Brora single malt, we don't know, but uh, it's going to be at least three years. So maybe I'll visit them in, them in three years and show you all the new interior, all the refurbished interior. And yeah, the Brora distillery looks really nice. I also ask them what kind of style of whiskey is Brora because I've actually never tried a Brora. It's many, many, many years ago. And yeah, they want to make a whiskey that is, uh, so he explained the style that is a bit smoky, but very fruity and Highland style. So it's a, a Highland whiskey like you know from Kleinlich, but with a bit of a smoky note. And yeah, so that is the, the Brora distillery in a nutshell and hopefully I will visit it in a few years. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.